Today, I'm gonna convert this bike from mechanical disc brake into hydraulic disc brake. The way I'm gonna show you is cheaper because if you go full hydro, if you, if you buy the whole kit, you gotta replace your brake levers, okay? On the e-bikes, it's gonna cost you more money because inside these brakes, there's a, another cable to shut off your motor you gotta replace that so the way i'm going to show you is much cheaper it doesn't matter if it's an e-bike or a regular bike if you have a disc brake on it right now and it's mechanical this is a cheaper way to do it this is the mechanical it has the cable okay you squeeze it That's how your brakes work. The problem with these is the uh, mechanical disc brakes. Only one brake pad squeeze and the other one stays. While here, the new one, this is the new hydraulic disc brake caliper. Okay, when you squeeze the brake, both brake pads squeeze at the same time. But on the mechanical, it doesn't. That's why you're gonna have a better braking power with this hydraulic. Okay, so I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you how to install this. And my other bike here, I already installed it, so so I know how they perform because going hydraulic brakes. It's way better. The bike will stop much quicker and your wheels tend to be more quieter because your the brakes doesn't scrape on your disc. Okay, if you got if you have a mechanical, you tend to do that, especially if your um, disc is warped a little bit, you can hear the scraping when your your bike rolls. On the hydro and the hydraulic it tends to be more quieter. So let's go, let's do it. Okay guys, let's go ahead and start the project. First thing we're gonna do, is the cable here, see this cable? On the end, we need to remove this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just need the pliers, okay? I'm just gonna use the pliers and pull. See it come out, just pull it up. And then you need a key. We're gonna go ahead and remove this. So we can remove the cable. That, then you're gonna see two screws. I don't know if you can see it. We can remove this screw, and then there's one down here. We're gonna remove those. Now, you gotta make sure, you gotta, you can take picture if you want, but if you notice, the screw that we're taking, this screw, and there's one down here, there's a washer. See the washers there? You gotta remember how you took them off. You can take picture if you want, or if you have a good memory, just make sure you put it back the way it is, okay? 
can you? One, and there's one down here. Sometimes these screws takes a while to take off. To take off. So you just kinda have just gonna have to take your time taking them off. Because some of them depends on the model you have. Sometimes the screws can be long. So there you go. Slide off. make sure you don't lose the screws and washers especially these washers right here and there's the old brake the old caliper okay guys this is the new caliper if you notice yours might come without with the uh, bracket here if your bike has that, like this one here, came with it, it's still there. I'm just gonna go ahead and reuse that. And you do the same thing, just go ahead and reuse yours too. You don't need to use this bracket, you can take it off. So to take off this little bracket, of course it's simple. Just go ahead and take out this. The screw. I'm not gonna use the new one. I'm gonna use the one that came with the bike. We're gonna go ahead and reuse those. Okay, this bracket here, you don't need. Then here, you can go ahead and just, uh, you can remove this on here. That just slide off. Then what you wanna do next, align your, uh, your caliper. First thing I'm gonna do, remember those washers? You gotta make sure you have those washers in there. And then the bottom one, they came like this. One like that. And you do the same thing with the other one. Just get it ready. Okay. I couldn't find that washer for a while. All right. This one goes here, and this one goes there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and align the caliper. Just 
take your time you don't, you gotta make sure you don't uh, ruin your threads <laughs> That's good. Okay. <clears throat> when you tighten the screws, you don't make sure you don't tighten them all the way yet. I'm going to show you why. Just a little bit. You notice how I didn't tighten the screws all the way? You want it like this. Then what you want to do, you squeeze here, you squeeze the brakes together. Then you tighten it while you're squeezing the brakes. The reason why you the reason why you, you want to squeeze the brakes while you tighten the screws what's happening it's it's making sure that this is perfectly centered. Because you want that disc to be perfectly centered. Okay, just make sure you these bolts are tight, not too tight, just tight enough that your caliper is not going to fall off when you apply the brakes. Okay, that's tight enough. Okay, that's tight enough. Next, this the wire, the cable wires need to go back. So what you want to do, run it through here. Sometimes you just got to play around with it. It'll go in there. There you go. Okay. Then here, these screws here, you got to loosen because it, the cable needs to go through there okay Fix later. All right. Then tighten it just a little bit because now we got to adjust the brakes. Okay. To adjust these brakes, if you're if your brake lever goes too close to the grip, you can adjust it by holding this cable with the pliers and moving this with your hand and then you tighten it. And then that's it, you're done. Okay, remember when we took out that piece, when we first thing we did is took out this uh, cable end well, you got to put a new one. Just make sure you put a new one. OK, 
Okay, remember this cable? The very first thing we took out? We gotta make sure you put, we put a new one. Or, or you can reuse the old one if you want, but I'm gonna put a new one. So, here's my new one. Slide it back in there. See that? If you can see it, that piece right there, you gotta make sure you put that on. I forgot the name, but just make sure, that's the one you took out, just make sure you can reuse the old one or put a new one. I decided to put a new one. Okay guys, that's the finished installation. And this is how it looks like now both of my brake now both of my bikes are now hydraulic both have a hydraulic uh, disc brakes now so well guys this is the cheap way to go hydraulic all you got to do is buy that caliper right there I put red on this one, on this Eora. The reason why I put red caliper is because I have some red color on this bike. By the seat post, my uh, chain tensioner, and uh, my brake calipers. For a distance, that's the way it looks like. Okay guys, that's it.